Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Doc and Queenie Facebook Live at Hi Noon. You are at the top of your game, sister. I gotta go take a nap. Good night. <laughs> we entertain ourselves, and that was entertaining. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. It is so awesome, Doc. Honestly, everybody is still on such a high from the holiday weekend or a trip to Fan Low, however you work that. But oh my gosh, um, it's gorgeous in Kansas City. When the sun hits the SNOW, it's just beautiful. And the Chiefs won. So. Oh my gosh, I can't talk about that right now. I'm not emotionally prepared to watch any more football. Well, they're, they're starting to kind of look like themselves. I'm not exactly sure what that means. 14 but. zip with us, not the 14, was killing me. Killing well, they, me. I know. And I'm very grateful. And I had to look up what does unanswered points mean. And so all of a sudden they said they just got 21 unanswered points. And I was like, huh. And I didn't and know. So the what person. does that mean? It means that they were not interfered with as far as the other team scoring in between. So exactly. that means they, but technically they got 21 points in a row with nobody else pointing on them, scoring on them. But anyway, I didn't know the term. I, I always thought, what is unanswered point? So I thought, you know what, Catherine, you teach people to push buttons. So just start pushing. And so I did. And I found out what it meant. I am not a football person yet. So I'm learning a lot of that stuff. Well, you know, I'm glad you are learning. And in, speaking in of learning, morning, how are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, good, and good morning to Lisa, who is uh, joining us here from, it's probably what, Lisa, a balmy 90 degrees in Vegas? Well, and that's the deal. We can't talk about the game because uh, Lisa's team did not win. Well, thank you. <laughs> 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 well, we were stroking out. You were probably happy and we're very sorry. There always has to be a winner and a not winner, but yeah. But anyway, we're glad that you're with us today, my friend. And plus Lisa's probably nice and toasty warm while the rest of us are in multiple layers of stuff. So she's, she's, she's got the last laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. So, Hey, let's jump into our, uh, oh, our wait a second. No, 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 no. I have to hear 50. Okay. Don't even start. She's <laughs> at no, I'm freezing. It's 50. Uh -uh. No sister. We're not going to freeze at 50. We freeze at 27. Yes. Um, doc, how did that spatch cocked Turkey turn out? Perfect. Okay. Very good. Yes. And I, um, I, was was able able to I got to figure out the end result of that spatch cocked Turkey. Yes, I, I, we spatched cock the turkey. I put a video on my YouTube. It's simple. It's very simple for the garden to table. Gourmet. You know, you have to say gourmet that way when you gourmet. Um, <laughs> and showed, I we do a dry brine. And uh, we let it sit in the refrigerator for two days. And good morning, Debbie Miller. And welcome back to Kansas City. She was up in the great state of Wisconsin the land of cheese curds and wonderful other dairy uh, things. Um, so yeah, so we dry brine our turkey and we let it sit for a couple of days. And then you're, you have to remember to rinse it off <laughs> because it's a, it's a salt baking soda brine. And that every time, in addition to spatchcock, our turkey was finished in 45 minutes. And if people, we, we don't eat the, the skin, but people, some people like to eat it with the skin on. It's always perfect. It never burns. And then I always put a little, um, because it's a holiday, I put an herb uh, butter underneath it. And I was able to use my own rosemary and sage in thyme this year. Because usually sometimes some of them are gone or dead or not, you know, producing. And so that was very good. It was very tasty. How about you? How was your holiday? It was wonderful. I got that got to go to both my kids' houses and it was just super fun. All the grandkids, all the grandkitties and puppies and everything. And um, it's just it's just a fun hot. You can kind of feel the vibe. And of course, um, Thanksgiving night is Plaza Lighting here in the Kansas City area, which means an entire shopping district turns their lights on and all at one time. It's a very big deal. And who lights the lights and all that stuff. And I think it was actually Tech Nine that lit them this year. Do you know that? 
I think so. Yes. And so Tech Nine got to do it. He has uh, his claim to fame is certainly the Chiefs Kingdom and all the things that he does for the Chiefs as far as music. And he's a great talent. And so that was fun. And that's why I say you can kind of feel the city's electric and pardon the triple entendre. But it really it does feel like um, electricity in the air because it's just such a fun time. And I thought even though I don't like SNOW personally, if I have to drive in it, it's so beautiful to see. I, I, I do love that part. And uh, especially when the sun glistens on the snowflakes, it really is beautiful. Yes. And so I will not say it's one day closer to March, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> I, I'm fine until January 2nd, then it can melt. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. That's for sure. I appreciate that too. But yes, the plaza lights are, it's a big deal and they have fireworks in the whole nine yards and, and, uh, we made the mistake when we first moved to this area to like, oh, let's go to the Plaza Lights on Thanksgiving Eve, you know, on Thanksgiving night. Ha ha ha. Oh, that was good. Welcome to Kansas City. Yeah, we got caught in traffic because everybody and their brother is doing it. And I think we spent two hours trying to get through. <laughs> uh, but it's it's be it's beautiful. It's beautiful what they do. Um, and that's kind of Kansas City's thing, I do believe, outlining everything in those lights. And so I know in our neighborhoods, we see them, everything is outlined. Do you outline your house in lights, Queenie? Um, no, I do the shrubs. Yeah, I have uh, lights on all the shrubs. And um, then I've got a tree in the front yard that I've actually lit this year. I've done a huge tree in the front yard, but this time the neighbor's tree has grown into my tree. So there's no way to get the lights in there. So uh, we'll have that conversation again in the spring and see if he can get his tree off my stuff. But uh, <laughs> that anyway, it, it really is very fun to see. And all the neighborhoods are lit up. That's why I say this is just such an exciting time. And I we were mentioning this at an earlier meeting today. I hope that people can flip the stress into um, little bites because all of a sudden January 1st, we were just actually net right this second. As a matter of fact, I got off a meeting where we were planning for our January 8th return. And that seems like, first of all, forever ago, but it's not four weeks from today is Christmas. And so, which means five weeks to, from today is new year's and uh, six weeks from today, we're going to be back as far as a lot of my different meetings and events. And it's just like, it'll be gone before you know it. So <sighs> try to take a breath. And every single ornament and every single light and every single turkey and every single spatchcock situation that you do, please, uh, please enjoy it because it's gone before you know it. My, my, there is a uh, thing that my mom did and it's, it's a funny in our family and it's basically, it's a, it's a chill, like you're saying, just chillax or whatever the word is for now, but uh -huh. she would go like this, she'd go chill off. Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. Chill off. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah, chill. I'm like, Mom, no, oh. it's yeah, it's chill out. That, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Yeah. Mm. So, so oh, yes, that's, use that's, the fluidity yeah. of time to slow down and enjoy. Exactly. So yeah, and then again, I always think when the SNOW, it's, see, I can't even spell it. It bothers me so much. And when the SNOW does happen, that to me is my trigger. Hello, Catherine stop whatever it is you think you have to do and just relax. And so it really is a, um, now I can't obviously go outside. I can't rake the leaves. I can't something, something. So now I have to work on my blog or I have to work on my website or I have to, have to, have to. And it really is a time to chill. And I, I hope everybody gets a chance to enjoy it. Yes, definitely. So would Fluidity you like to hear of time? Fluidity of time. I bet I know who that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, would you like to know what the national day is today? Does it have anything to do with SNOW? No. Okay, then yes, I do. <laughs> I, I wrote down several in addition to the wonderful calendar that uh, Miss Karen Hagens had. Superstar <laughs> Purple Girl. Okay, love it. Pins and Needles Day. That's not a relaxed thing when you think about it. Okay. It wouldn't be for me. And now, that the, now that the game's over, I'm not on pins and needles. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> it's National Craft Jerky Day. I don't make my own jerky. Do you make your own jerky, Queen? I, you couldn't even get that out. You I bet you've never had anybody ask you that question. You are correct. I don't even know what it is, but I'm sure I don't make it, I guess. Beef jerky, which you're not a big oh beef. All right, beef jerky. Um, I you know craft craft beer. I guess it's craft jerky. Okay. I guess it's craft whatever. 
Um, of course you make yours, Lisa. Oh my gosh. Um, so the answer is I, I have had it cause I wanted to see if I could, um, like meat as far as the protein. And so I figured I would try that as a alternative stuff. And so, um, Ooh, I finished. don't, yeah, that actually sounds lovely. And I think my brain would go to Turkey jerky if I was going to do that. But, um, needless to say, I don't make my own nada and I don't, there's, there's stuff in the package things that is not a good fit for me. So that there's all those nuances keep me from liking meat. I, you know, no comment from the funny farm. So <laughs> wait a second. You've got it. Do you make your own? No, no, I don't. Okay. Um, I kind of go in spurts. I do like jerky. It's good. Okay. Um, venison is real good. Um, I mean, it's just good all around. Um, okay. But I just, I go in spurts. Sometimes I, I like it. Sometimes I don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just haven't uh, explored it. I'm too busy canning. <laughs> To, yeah, that, to there you go. Too. I'm too busy canning. I can't make my own jerky. I'm too busy canning. Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, right, go ahead, Doc. Keep going. I'm too busy canning. Yeah. As soon as I say that to a group, we'll see what the reaction is. <laughs> so tomorrow is uh, French toast day. Do you like French toast? Uh, I have made it myself, but probably not since the kids were in high school, and I have to have my own because. I'm a little bit specific, but I haven't made it honestly since then. Back in the day, and I don't even know how the opposite of this would be, you made it with Crisco. And I don't even own, do they still even make Crisco? Yes. Yep. They do. Well, anyway, I don't shop for that kind of stuff, but I don't know what the option of opposite of Crisco would be to make the French toast happen. So butter. anyway, I, I have, <laughs> what, butter is what you would butter. use really? Yeah, Chris, oh Crisco's just a fat. That you because um, I can't imagine how you would get the butter hot enough to make the crispy part of the French toast that the kids liked. So, but anyway, no, I haven't made it since how many years have they been? Out of high oh, I'm not even going to tell you that in case they're listening. Um, they've only been out of high school a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> so, and yes, so tomorrow's French toast day and day of giving. I love that. Wednesday is square dance day and electronic greeting day. Hmm, okay. Um, uh, I have never square danced, uh, at least not official with those fabulous costumes. Now I will say though, when, when you're in seri serious square dance country, those outfits they wear are magnificent. Yes, Bright they are. colors, flamboyant. The ladies always look so terrific in their dresses and the gentlemen with their, um, uh, the cowboy boots and all their, what is that thing called? Um, I don't know. I just call it a cowboy tie. <laughs> Well, there you go. But whatever that thing is actually called, they really do look magnificent when they're doing their thing. So it's cool. Very cool. Uh, Thursday is stay home because you're well day. <laughs> stay home because I'm well. That would be the opposite of my brain. But OK, go ahead. And then it's also personal space day, which, you know, I mean, that kind of... <laughs> it's also moose day and mason jar day. So, okay. you know, we're, we have a canning reference right there on Thursday. Maybe I'll have to post a picture with myself. I'll have to get my uh, can, what are they called? Mason jars out. <laughs> uh, Friday is eat a red apple day. Do you like oh. apples, Queenie? Yeah, I love apples, actually. Yes, that would be easy for me. Uh, soaked in Congan, of course, to get the wax off. But yes. <laughs> so I thought um, you were going to say soaked in something else. I'm like, what? No, yes. no, no. Soaked in Congan, um, because that I think has my, been my deterrent my whole life. And I never realized it until I was in one of our training classes for Congan water. And um, I said, oh, apples just aren't my thing. And they go, how can you not like apples? The pectin is so fabulous, your hair and your nails and everything's so gorgeous when you eat an apple every day. And I said, yeah, but there's a taste of something that bugs me. I never knew it was the wax. Even organic apples, honestly, have stuff on it. As soon as they taught us and they showed us in a demo, as soon as they taught us how to rinse it, soak it in 11.5 to get that wax off, chemical free, all of a sudden I said, that's really not going to change my mind. Oh my gosh. So now I'm an apple person because I know how to do it. Which kind of apples do you like? Uh, I love green because I know you do as well. And I love it with almond butter because I do that. Uh, oh, yeah. so, but I also like red. What are they called? Pink lady. Um, I like, yeah, I like those also. Delicious is too sweet for me. The pink lady has a little bit of a tart 
It's like a um, sweet cherry. Yeah. And yeah. so the, the pink lady to me is a cross between delicious and green. And green has to have um, almond butter for me to be able to handle it. But the pink lady I can eat by itself. But they still need to be soaked in 11.5 for me to get right. that that mental block I've got on that flavor. That wax stuff tastes terrible. You know, I never noticed, but you know, I, I always use my 11 five to clean everything. Whether oh, I'm, yeah, I know. I'm you guys water. use more water than anybody I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Saturday is mutt day. And of course, those mutt of us like day. Mutt. Oh and my goodness. Food. Yes. Funny. We have a mutt. <laughs> Um, Sunday is roof over your head day. So I mean, praise the Lord for that. Right. Yes. We are thankful for our net. We're thankful for everything we have and our friends and faithful friends on purpose and our families. And yeah. So, so those, how about a word of the, days, word of those, the day? The, <laughs> those are I'm, such cool days, honestly, doc. And I love that so much because think about the roof over your head part. And honestly, and when you think in terms of, um, some people don't have that. And so we think in terms of, um, different ways for people to, uh, what would you say appreciate differently? Is that, a, is that a good fit? People don't know what they have maybe until they don't have it. Right. And so the roof over your head day for me is, is a good fit. And yep. I, I seriously love that. That's All right. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, it really, it seriously is. Okay. Let's see. Good morning, yeah. Karen Higgins. She is joining us today. Ah, Karen Higgins. I love it when she says hi like that. Hi, noon. Oh, Karen, you got a bonus just for that. <laughs> All right. So, Doc and Queenie, I know how to spell that. Doc, can you see my screen? Yes, I can, Queenie. Well, then let's shuffle. Five is my number. Seven is yours. We'll do it six times. And today, our word for D. Doc and Queenie is, oh my gosh, love, love, love. Doc. Why do you, why do you love efficient? I think efficient just rocks my world as a matter of fact. Um, efficient, um, what my daughter actually calls it an efficiency specialist. <laughs> I'm not a control freak. I'm an efficiency specialist. And um, so I, cause people to please say that instead of control freak <laughs> it has, has a nice <laughs> ring to it. Um, efficient to me is there are several ways to do many things. And for me, I do concentrate on what's the most efficient way to get that done. And I really, it is a thought process because I could do it quickly, but then if I mess it up and have to do it again, I undid the efficiency. And so I really love that word. What about you? you? Oh my gosh. Efficiency is your middle name. I'm sure if we look up efficiency in a dictionary, your name comes up. It'd be right next to yours, Queenie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think C comes before uh, L, but then again, we are using Q and D. So I guess I'm first, huh? You are uh, first. No, I, same thing with me. Um, a lot of things that I do, I test things out to look for uh, a more efficient way of doing things. You know, like we're, we're going to be teaching about YouTube shorts this, this Wednesday. Um, and I'm always trying to figure out a better, faster way that is efficient to, to do the, the YouTubes or the YouTube shorts or, you know, anything I do. I, I, I like, I, and I don't know if you call it a shortcut. Would you call efficiency a shortcut? Um, no, because for me, an oversight on your part does not constitute an emergency for me is not a shortcut. It's being an efficiency specialist. <laughs> okay. With no control. Gotcha. Correct. <laughs> so yeah, it's all I, I, I like efficiency, especially when it comes to my videos, because it takes a long time to edit and put things together and think things through. Um, but the more I do it, the, the faster it's getting because I am coming up with more efficient ways of doing it. How was that for an answer? And that's a good one because it's also streamlined. Yes. And so many times when we start something new, first time you balance a checkbook. Now, of course, people say, what's a checkbook? And so the rest of the story is the first time you do anything, it's a little more difficult. And then, and let's think about Christmas lights. Okay. It's the holiday season. You put up your Christmas lights the first time to kind of check it out and see how you like it. 
next year you're going to adjust things perhaps differently but how you put everything away yes. has a lot to do with how you put things up and so for me that's efficient not control but it is a um, I don't want to do things twice. That actually personally does make me nuts. And so I want to make sure that I am using my time, utilizing my time most efficiently because it really does work for me because I doing things twice. I actually don't have time to do things twice. And so I have to be very efficient. So I really do love that word. I, um, I like I'm Go sorry. I, I, I like the example of the way you put things away. And and actually, here's a funny um we decorated our Christmas tree last night oh. and, and I, 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 I'm the one that puts all the ornaments back and I try to make it as efficient as possible. I found a box yesterday that had absolutely nothing in it <laughs> and I wrapped it up, put it back into, you know, I, I tape everything, taped it up and I opened the box and I'm like pulling out the paper and I'm like, there's absolutely nothing in here. <laughs> I don't know if that was truly efficient. That kind of, yeah. <laughs> Did you have the box available in case you received new ornaments? I don't know. Maybe I was going to put something in it and didn't. I don't know. But okay. you had an empty box with tissue in it and taped. I think that would make me nuts if I didn't figure out what I needed. Yeah. But if you were to see, um, my mom, when she was alive, would give us three to five ornaments every year. Yep. He did that for 20 to 25 years. So you can... That's in addition to what we had already. So if I am not efficient in the way I put things back, because I put things in big, these big, you know, plastic boxes and I pack it a certain way. Yeah. If you're not efficient, you can't get the top on. <laughs> oh, there you go. That, that's important. So, um, I have a question. Yes. You just glazed over a second ago, the YouTube shorts. Yes. And a little bird has whispered in my little ear that Doc and Queenie classes are starting. OMG, the background. And you're going to need to tell our friends, our faithful friends on purpose, what is Doc and Queenie classes and when is it starting? Well, there's an actual video on the Doc and Queenie Facebook page. I don't know if you got to see it because you've been networking right up till when we started here. <laughs> <laughs> Push a button. I can get this done. But uh, yes, it's coming up this Wednesday at high noon. Never cease to amaze us. I gotta yeah. go take another nap. <laughs> now go outside and run around the house. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. So we're 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 doing a series that we have labeled "How to Expand Your Reach." YouTube is a fantastic platform to use, and YouTube Shorts. Of course, like we've ta just talked about, I've been playing with it, playing with it, playing with it, and watching my subscribers on my YouTube channel rise. And I've been um, honing down what is efficient as far as what works for the moment. Of course, a lot of these platforms are constantly changing, but I'm going to be teaching a basic course on all of the things that go into a YouTube short, how to do it. And the creative process, the mindset behind it. And then we're going to have a Q&A session on top of it. So I'm super excited. Well, I'm super excited too, because just what I have learned from you, Doc, and first of all, by the way, guys, it's high noon central time, just to let you know that in case you invite your friends, it'll be on the Doc and Queenie Facebook page, of course. And we would love for you to participate, ask questions, things like that. It'll be on a Zoom. So you'll need to ask the questions in the comment section. But the biggest part of all is actually going to be with doc teaching. I literally did a YouTube short because you have taught me how to do that of my Christmas lights with the snow coming down on them. And I've already gotten 78 views since Friday night or Saturday night or whenever Saturday night awesome. when it happened. And obviously I don't have the thousands that you do, but I'm blown away because when before, when I was trying to do the shorts on my own, I got seven views. So now that I've got your techniques figured out of what you have taught us just a little teensy bit on Doc and Queenie, uh, when we do the Facebook Live right now, I have already upped my game times a million and I'm inches away from 15,000 views on my whole channel. Awesome. And, and again, it's not the zillions of yours, but that's so huge for me because I'm talking about um, Christmas lights, for heaven's sakes, in the snow in Kansas City. OMG. And already, like I say, 78 views just since Saturday night. And I'm like, 
wow. And so everything you teach works famously. And I cannot wait for the last Wednesday of every month at high noon central time. Please join us for uh, Doc and Queenie classes because we're going to teach something new every single month. And um, of course, it'll be on the Doc and Queenie page, therefore thus recorded. But now you can invite your friends to that if some of them are not skilled yet in uh, some of the things that we'll talk about. It's, it's going to so be fun. Excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you is all I can say, because I was not getting the reach at all until you taught me how to do some of that stuff. Well, and there's always new, new things. And, you know, this, this class that I'm starting there, there will definitely be another one, a little more detailed, but we're going to get the basics for the people that are not um, YouTube savvy yet. So yeah, I love that part. And uh, just as a heads up, the end of December is my class and we will be talking about a YouTube channel, how to work the community section effectively, et cetera, et cetera. And um, so I, I do love that part because I still find um, when I go to people's YouTube channels, they don't have community filled in. And I'm like, hello, free advertising. OMG. I, I, I can't express enough how that gets your reach and your hashtags and your traffic and all that stuff rolling. Yes. Ann Porter, welcome. And uh, we are definitely excited to have you join us for the shorts and certainly every single Monday. Awesome. So what is our uh, next little wheel, Queenie? If, if the topic comes up to YouTube, are you kidding me, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Since we already talked about that, right? Yeah, All right. So we'll move up. Are. And by the way, if anyone here or certainly on the replay is thinking in terms of topics for us. We delete these after we say them on purpose uh, so that we won't repeat at least not too frequently. And so please consider that if you haven't already. Yay. All right. Oh, dear. So, I know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, so honestly, Doc, let's think in terms of um, whatever you would like to share today. And I mean that. And because strategic, your word of the year, whatever you would like to share, I think this is uh, perfect that it's you today. Here, here's something. And I actually was working on this when I was working on my presentation for the class. Okay. When was the last time that you updated your bio? And I know you teach on this because the first time I met you, you were talking about bios. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. 2019, July 25th or 6th, I believe, when Doc walked into No Excuses Networking at Fazoli's um, in Olathe, Kansas, actually. And I was training on bios that day because I realized how few people have a bio at the ready. And so, in fact, this happened to me. I'm on a, pod a podcast on Thursday. I, I can't wait. I love this girl with all my heart. And uh, she invited me to be on her podcast. And she said, I don't want to bother you. I know how she's doing this, all this sweet, precious stuff. I know how busy you are. And um, if, if you have a minute, could you please send me a bio? Because I just want a few key points that I'll be sharing during the podcast. And while she was doing the I'm sorry to bother you and all this stuff, I <laughs> sent it to her. Yeah, and, and she goes, oh, my gosh, you already have a bio? And I was like, honey, that is definitely on my radar, not only to keep it updated. And I said, would you like a promo page of the topics that I'll be talking about? And she goes, oh, my goodness. And so um, it, it was it, it, always to have it at the ready. And then, of course, in person networking, I always have it laminated and that and with with a um, uh, water marker. What are those called? Dry erase marker. And that way, whoever's there can highlight what they want on the dry erase. And then uh, that way they have the laminated in their hand and they can talk about whatever they want um, when they do my intros. But anyway, she was so cute. I know I just don't want to bother you. If you have time, can you please send me a bio when you have a minute? And she was just precious. I'm so excited to do this podcast. I can't tell you. But Doc, you are so correct. The bio on your website, the bio on your blog post, the bio, people have to know who we are and why we do what we do. And that is a perfect message. Uh, yep. Absolutely perfect message. Yes. So you'll you'll hear my little bio in my class. <laughs> Oh, well, the people that don't know me. Exciting. Okay. And you know what I just the second thought of, and I'm going to do it myself. Um, I think a bio would be a great thing to put on the community page. Yes. Yes. You know, and it would be fun if people posted their bios so we could learn a little bit more. About Absolutely. Them. But that really is a good point because when you have an updated bio and you post it on your community page, you're cross pollinating 
once again uh, with the YouTube, with the hashtags, things like that. But even if you have it in JPEG form, put it on your community section and that will get the party started as far as the algorithm and the traffic. So that sounds good good to me. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome, Queenie. (laughs) I'm so excited for classes. I put on one of your videos uh, that you posted this morning. I put on there, two more sleeps, two more sleeps, two yeah, more sleeps. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see I put my little avatar on there? And avatar <laughs> is another, yeah, I just changed it because my hair is yes. getting longer. <laughs> yes, it is. I see that. It's almost to your shoulders. That's pretty fun. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Trying to grow back. Yeah. It's take another six months. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> That's all right. You are definitely getting there. And isn't that another thing? Your picture starts right here, super shaved. And then all of a sudden, boom. That, that would be a very cool time lapse video. Oh, gosh, it, it'll be fun. Well, and I still have pop ups here and there. And like I, I'm trying to remember where I just saw my my picture from like two years ago. And my <laughs> hair is down to the middle of my. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was amazing. So, yeah, that was anyways. definitely amazing. I am so excited. Well, happy Pins and Needles Day to all of our faithful friends on purpose, uh, honestly. But it's just it's so much fun, honestly, to experience what's happening in the world right now, all the new trainings that are coming down the pike. I'm so excited for Doc and Queenie classes because now instead of a quick, here's how you do it, bam, 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 go, go, go. We now have an actual dedicated class time and it's the last Wednesday of every single month at high noon for central time. So everyone can participate. And then obviously the class will stay on the Doc and Queenie page. I can't wait. Yes, it's going to be fun. And then I'm going to flip this just a little bit, like what you said at the beginning. Um, And and I'm taking the creative liberty of saying, in this season of being busy and everything going on, as my mom would say, chill off, relax. I love that more than anything. Oh, (laughs) take some time for yourself because we we need it, especially women that are doing how many things do we do, especially at the holidays, you know, it adds another layer and it's fun, but um, you know, just take time to relax and take time out for yourself in between all of the holiday festive, et cetera, et cetera. It's very fun to see that as far as the holiday parties and things like that, people are back out doing that again. And I literally was looking at a calendar because someone said, can we schedule it? And I looked down, I went, Uh, (laughs) Oh my goodness, you actually are kidding. But it really has been super fun to get the calendar filled up again and the in-person events. Uh, Delinda Lane, our superstar for Fun Fearless Female Global Community of Christian Women, is actually having an in-person event on Tuesday, December 5th in Kansas City at Silo if you're interested. So be sure and connect connect with Delinda. Um, If there's any tickets left, I don't know because I know that the room uh, doesn't hold a zillion. I'm surprised she's not having this in Kemper Arena. But um, anyway, it'll be very fun to see folks in person again uh, in our community. So that is, oh my gosh. Looking forward to getting out and and if it's uh, 20 degrees, uh, you'll see (laughs) Doc and Queenie in their big puffy coats walk around. I was going to say, oh my gosh, how many layers can you fit under this this blazer? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, well, guess what, Queenie? It's time to say goodbye. It so, flies, Doc. It flies. Thank you everyone for joining us today on Doc and Queenie Facebook Live every Monday at I <laughs> Thank you, Queenie. I appreciate that. <laughs> you can find Queenie all over the place, Kathy Weaver KC and social media or her website, kathyweaverkc.com or myself, Doc, at kitchengardenexpert.com or all over social media, Kitchen Garden Expert, uh, especially YouTube channel, my favorite place to be. So <laughs> you know, if you want to garden in the snow, I actually am getting ready to put some gardening in the winter. <laughs> I was just getting ready to plant. So I appreciate your expert tutelage. I know you were. So just stay tuned. It's coming. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Queenie. And we'll see you right back here. Well, we will see you on Wednesday at our class. I should say that first. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Queenie. <laughs>